The game is not included. Santa Crane right on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Real early this year too. Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentin Jr. Hugo Valentin Jr. Junior Hugo Valentine. And today we have the most craziest unboxing ever, ever. Oh my God, look at this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> my dad and Kat and my grandma all pitched in together to get me the Nintendo Switch this year. And I'm so, happy they literally saved christmas like legit saved christmas this year <laughs> i'm so hyped because i really really love animal crossing and i wanted to actually get the animal crossing version of the nintendo switch and surprise surprise they literally got me that version let me just get to opening it up okay maybe i do i just opened a little flap on the bottom plug it in set it up and should turn on. Oh, they even have a site for um support. They really said tech support, tech support. Oh my god. This is the switch right here. I just took out the switch. The combination of colors is so cute. Look, so here we got inside the box. There's the charging dock in here. One of my hairs is loose. Here we got the plug they were talking about. These are the connectors to make it where it's just like not attached to the actual switch. <gasps> I just realized you could play it on the TV. Oh my God, I'm so excited to play it on the TV. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna be able to play it on the TV and it's gonna be ginormous and I'm just gonna be able to like play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Look, we actually got the controller here too. Oh my God. And we got the other side. Oh, I fell out. We got the other side right here, the other connector. Oh, and lastly, I got the charging dock out. We have the Tom Nook charging dock, which is so cute. Look at them. Tom Nook and his family, his twins. And then we have the Nintendo logo back here. Oh my god, this is so pretty. I, I fucking love it. So now, to take the actual switch out of this. Oh, also, if y'all didn't know, it's actually snowing outside. It literally started snowing yesterday night, just in time for Christmas Eve, which is bizarre to me. I also have my little cat here, Kiara Evangelista. She's so precious. I have her with me on Christmas. Look, we got the little pastel blue and green controllers in style of Animal Crossing. And finally, we got the Nintendo Switch itself. When I take out this plastic, y'all are about to see what I'm so hype about. Let's see if these click in like they say they do. It does have a satisfying click. Look, look at the back. This is what I was hype about. Look at the back with all the tents, the Animal Crossing print. Oh my God, look at that. It's so good. It's so pretty. It feels nice too. Oh, it comes with an HDMI too. Not cause y'all can never go wrong with too many HDMIs. <laughs> That's kind of like the normal standard for connecting things to your TV now. Now that I got the wire out, I'm gonna go connect to my Switch right now and wait for it to turn on. Um, oh my God, y'all. So my Switch just turned on and started doing this like really triumphant music. And now it's asking me for my language. Obviously, Espanoles. <laughs> the Americas. I like how the little ditties are rising. Currently, I'm putting in the password for my Wi-Fi. Hey, guys. So here we are exactly a month later. It is January 25th, and I got this on December 24th. So... I honestly, the same day I unboxed this, I forgot that I had to do an unboxing. So here we are. <laughs> here is my only game on the console because it doesn't have that much space. I will definitely need to get more space. The console doesn't have that much space. Let me see. Where is the space at? Yeah, as you can see, after I downloaded Animal Crossing New Horizons, I only have 14 gigabytes of space left. I actually had Fortnite and New Horizons on the Switch, but I couldn't update Animal Crossing without deleting Fortnite. And I couldn't actually update Fortnite anymore after the first time of downloading. 
But other than space, it is very efficient. I've been having fun just taking it on the go. I've literally been to multiple different houses and it has a, an amazing amount of battery life. <laughs> this thing is honestly so amazing and so pretty. I already got all 10 of my villagers on Animal Crossing. For anyone who's wanting to get the Animal Crossing edition of the Switch though, the game is not included. Everyone make sure of that. The game is not included. Don't mind my nails, they're breaking apart. I still can't believe this Switch is literally the normal price of the regular Switch though, even though this is a special edition. So that's a bonus for sure. We have this little flap on the back, which you're able to stand up the Switch by itself or put a micro SD card, which is for more space. Isabel is telling me the updates for today. Overall, I really love this whole Switch. It is honestly the best one in my opinion. Oh, and also if you turn up the volume, the Switch does do that click sound that I was talking about. So satisfying! There's a lot of times where I've just played it on my TV and put the Switch controllers in here. It works really, really well on the TV and I love playing it at home on the big screen. That's probably the best way to play it in my opinion. Obviously it's really cool that it's portable as well. These little extra pieces are actually so they could be separate controllers. You could actually use both of these controllers for player one and player two. Here's both of them and how they would look like if there were two separate controllers. It's honestly easy, efficient, and portable, and it's so cheap as well. The fact that the online play for one year is $20, I think it's insane. It's very affordable, and if I put this on the charging dock by itself and click it in, it actually turns on your TV automatically to the HDMI that it's plugged into, which I've literally never had something do that before, and I thought it was insane. This is the controller, obviously, how it looks like. And yeah, Isabel is still updating me because I haven't gotten past this, this screen. As you can see, it works perfectly well. It's very responsive. Look at my bomb ass character. But yeah, that's all for this unboxing and review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. This is the first time I've gotten a new console in a very long time. The last time I got a new console was the PS4. So this is very exciting. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.